Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Hilltop Hellbox here in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And today we have the Common Turn 2.2. If you've been paying attention to the numbers, uh, Panzer King came up with a little system for us. So every turn will be the, the main number and the point will be the uh, country, the nation, the faction, if you will, that goes after that. So we have uh, 2.1 was Germany, 2.2 is the Soviet Union Common Turn. Uh, 2.3 is going to be Japanese, <clears throat> and so on and so forth. Pardon me, I have a little bit of a cold today. It's not COVID, guarantee it. All right, uh, here we go. So, uh, Communist China, whoop, I guess I better show you here. So, I got seven bucks with Communist China, believe it or not. Um, we spent one last round, didn't buy anything, and we got, uh, so we have seven. So, we're going to spend six on three militia, and we're going to have one to boost a role and we'll talk about that in a second so what we're going to do here and I actually talked this over with uh, with Jinx is I am coming in here because two bucks is two bucks which I am sure uh, and he's he's already said he's going to take it back which I do not blame him but uh, we're also going to have our cavalry come in and then go back it can't blitz uh, but it can go into friendly territory so we went one two um, and so it's out of harm's way, as it were. Now, the only reason I'm doing that, you can see Szechuan's worth nothing, but it does two things for me. One, it gives me a land adjacent to Yunnan, and I'm going to roll for Yunnan, uh, because they got four militia and a couple of infantry there, which might not be a big deal to something like Germany or Japan, but to Communist China, that's a heap of, heap of people. So we're going to be uh, rolling for that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to roll a six or lower, but then I spent this one dollar on making that die roll a seven. So a seven or lower, and here we go. We've got our lucky red die. Here we go. Boom. So that means that all these fellows here just aligned with communism have seen the light, and they know now that this is the true way of peace and harmony, and if not, we'll shoot you. Okay, uh, so what happened was the Communist Chinese went up $2. Oh, and we got to roll a recruitment roll. So for recruitment, we have to roll a, right now, we have seven. So seven or less, and I get a free infantry or two. Oh, look at that. This red die, I'm going to enshrine this thing. Well, only if we win. Um, so I get another couple militia or an infantry. Um, and I think honestly, I'll take a couple more militia. So I'm just going to grab communist China is having a very, very, very good game for communist China anyway. So a couple more militia and we'll just add those to the homeland here. Keep it like that. And then we'll we'll switch these out later when we're not on film, just so you're not bored. Okay, so that's Communist China. You know what? I'm going to switch them out. But I'll just keep going on my turn. I just don't want to forget. Uh, over here, we have the Soviet Union. And we're going to save a dollar. We're going to buy a fighter here for 10 bucks. All right, now, with the Soviet fighter... That is actually going to be, you can see it's green. You say, why is it green? Well, it's actually going to be a Lend-Lease. Okay, so that we'll come to that in a little bit. Um, as far as the Soviet units go, of course, no attacks. Uh, we're at peace with everybody. We just, we just love everyone. And uh, yeah, so we're going to move this cavalry to there. Um, we'll move this fellow into there. Uh, and this infantry will move into Baratia as such. And I think this cavalry in North Caucasia is going to come down to Transcaucasia. That infantry will join. And not much else going on, really. We're going to bring this fella to here. I'm going to rail this guy up to the front. We'll put him right there. We can rail two things. So maybe I'll rail this guy. No, you know what? I'm going to... Yeah, we'll rail this guy. We're going to rail him into the same area there. 
Uh, these two fellas uh, will just go up here to Orel and yeah, shoot. I was hoping I could avoid this. And now we'll move this fella here. He is going to move into Leningrad. So Leningrad is uh, getting a little crowded. I'll probably chip those fellas out shortly. We have nothing else on the build chart. So you didn't need to worry about putting any money towards that stuff. All right. Uh, so that is it for the Soviet Union. Their economy remains at... Eight, and we saved one, so we will have nine dollars to spend next round. The communist Chinese, oh shoot, you know what? I'll do the money later. It's <laughs> I don't have as much room as some other fellows here, and uh, I got my charts over top of the economics. So the Soviets do get eight though, so they'll have nine next round. And the communist Chinese, I guess we'll just place our we're getting our, our three militia here, so I'll just grab a another chip. So we got three more militia. And we're going to put them into Suyan here. We're also going to move a uh, we'll move a cavalry into the highlands here. Into our home territory. Okay. So that's everything for Communist China as far as moves go. So uh, for a wrap up here for China, we got a militia in Shangtung. We have a marker in Sichuan. We Yunnan. We took the four militia and two infantry. Oh, and it goes up another dollar. So that's nine bucks. I guess we're making with China. Figure that one out. One, two, three, four, five, six militia, two cavalry, and two mountain in Shenxi. Hopei is empty right now. Suyuan has one, two, three, four, five militia and two infantry, and Peking uh, still has three infantry in there. Okay, uh, and I hope the Soviet movements were basic enough. I don't need to bore you with all that information. We're not going to be doing much battling, I don't think. I guess I'll do here. We got the three infantry in uh, Vladivostok. In Chita, we've got the motorized, the cavalry, and the militia. Baracha has an infantry, and Novosibirsk has the militia. He's just hanging out there. Um, all right. Now, uh, so the Soviets will have nine bucks. Communist China spent everything, but now we will also have nine bucks next round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we make eight with the Soviets plus the one is nine. So they both have nine bucks to spend next round. See, that's communism, folks, right there. That's communism. We share the wealth. Make sure everybody's happy. All right. Now here's this Lend Lease. Now Lend Lease. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, you got to have your major port to send anything more than three IPPs. And you can see I've got a couple of them here. And we'll trace a path all the way to where this fighter can land in Catalonia. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Catalonia. All right, so that's that. And then we're going to have ourselves... Oh, work on your work there. Um, we are now going to have ourselves a battle, and uh, I am just going to, hold on, I'm just going to pause you just for a second here. A war of ideology. A war that introduced revolutionary technologies and tactics. A war with such human and societal cost, it would never be forgotten. No, no, the, the other one. There you go. The Spanish Civil War. Stop steaming up my tail! 
What are you trying to do? Wrinkle it? Yeah, I see now, uh, Coachella Valley. Hmm. Then to Las Vegas, San Bernardino. Of course you realize this means war. Okay, so I just actually got a voice message and we were talking about scrambling and whatnot. And we've decided that only fighters can scramble because that seems to be what the rules state uh, throughout when it talks about scrambling. It always says fighters with a capital F. It's not aircraft, so we're just going to scramble those guys and these guys are all going to come in. We're going to bring in the bomber. We're going to bring in this fighter, of course. And then we're going to bring in the fighter that was the Len Lease from the... Very generous Soviet Union. Okay, so first things first. Uh, so here's the, the battle board. So I've got three infantry, one cavalry, two fighters, and the medium bomber. He's got an artillery with first strike. He's got an infantry, and he's got two fighters. All right, so I've got the dice all set up here, but we're going to let his artillery shoot first. If it gets a three or less, okay, uh, that would have... Hurt my odds a lot. Okay, so the cavalry is going to be the one with the blue numbers on it. So I'll roll these all at the same time. Okay, well, I got one hit with the aircraft. That has to be applied to aircraft. My fighters missed, though. It's a downright tragedy. I was hoping to kill both his fighters. But I did get a hit with the cavalry, and I got a hit with the infantry. So I'm going to kill his two land units and one plane. All right, which means he can come back with his planes. Oh my goodness, that is a gorgeous roll for me. Uh, no hits whatsoever. So, as it stands now, uh, he is down to just a fighter left. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I got to retreat. I got to retreat. If I don't retreat, uh, he is going to have uh, a lot more stuff uh, with a lend lease. I'd love to take this territory, but I can't. Um, but he would... Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta retreat. How sad is that, eh? Sometimes you do with the things you don't. Sometimes you do with the wall. Out there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Crying? No. Allergies? No. Did Daryl touch you? What? One hit away from wiping out his fighters there. So we got to retreat back to Madrid, because if I took this with all the ground forces, I I wouldn't be able to hold the city, because I just I wouldn't be able to, because he can come in with one, two, three, four, five, plus whatever he land leases from Italy and Germany before the Soviets get another turn. So sadly, I have to retreat. Um, but we did take care of those guys there. Okay, well, I guess that's better than a kick in the butt with a frozen muckluck. Not taking any hits, that's uh, that's huge. Um, so then we're going to move these guys up to here. I do have, uh, oh, I do have a naval base here. For some reason, I didn't, no, I don't, because I'm here. <laughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. All right. Sorry, folks. I think I mentioned that dental work I had yesterday. It's still knocking me out here. Okay. So that's everything for that. And uh, what we're going to do now is roll. We only have three territories because we couldn't afford to take that. So we got three territories. So we have to roll a three or less in our recruitment roll. This would be really helpful. Nah. I think that's what he rolled too. I think he rolled an 11 for his recruitment roll. All right. So that's it for the, uh, the Spanish Civil War. Um, so... Uh, can I do this without messing things up? Let's believe I can. Yeah. All right. So we have the Communist Chinese are actually up to nine now with their 
incomes. They've actually surpassed the Soviet Union in income. Uh, aren't we glad this didn't really happen too quickly anyway? Um, and now we have to roll for the Soviet um, technologies. All right, so we got advanced artillery and we got wartime economy last time, but we failed on the other things. And uh, I had it on strategic rockets. I think I got to go with improved factories again. Okay, so we have three sevens, three sevens, and these are all color coded, matched up. So three sevens. And here we go. We got 7, 3, and 12. Boy, that red one just doesn't want to kick in for me on this stuff, does it? Does well with the Chinese. Uh, all right, so that means that we're going to move this up to here, and we'll move our advanced artillery up there. Doesn't We're not destined to have improved factories. <laughs> That's not good, not good. But we'll take the, the other two wins. All right. So, uh, I guess I'll just give a review here. So, I got one cavalry, I got three infantry, two fighters, and a medium bomber in Madrid. Uh, I got one lone fellow in Catalonia. We have, well, two infantry in Karelia. We've got Three infantry, one cavalry, one militia in Leningrad. In southern Belarusia, we have four infantry, one motorized, and one armor. In uh, western Ukraine, we have what appears to be three infantry and an armor. In Kiev, we have an infantry, a fighter, and a motorized. Southern Ukraine, we have a lone infantry. Crimea, we have one infantry still got our fleet here of course the mighty black sea fleet two motorized and oral and then we have a fighter a tactical and a i want to say that's a transport but it could be a bomber my sculpts aren't uh, all perfect i'll look that one up but it hasn't moved from <laughs> turn one so whatever the setup is there you go cavalry and two infantry and transcaucasus Transcaucasia, and Turkmenistan has a lone infantry, and I've already done the Eastern Theater for the Soviets. All right, well, that's it, folks. Uh, another great round for the, the communists, and a fairly satisfying round for the uh, Spanish Republicans, although we failed again on our recruitment roll. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Madrid's looking, uh, looking like it's uh, dying on the vine here. We've got to be careful. So, anyway, thanks, folks. We will uh, pass the torch over to the Japanese, who are doing what the Japanese do. They got all their ships they put into one zone here. That's where Panzer King decided to go with it. And we'll see how he does here on turn 2.3 of our Global War, version 3, 1936, Operation Winter Solace. Well, you take care, folks. And here come the commies. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! Alright, quick addition to tie off this last round is my, uh, I made a minor mistake. I think I may have made a big mistake. <laughs> oh, come on. No. All of a sudden it hit me, I realized what the problem is. With my... Um, movements for the Communist Chinese and uh, unfortunately I have run out of Communist Chinese painted sculpts so I'm just gonna have to use a Soviet one instead of my horse coming in and out there I've been told that that's not uh, that's l not legal in 36 so that's my bad uh, so what we're gonna do is we'll just have a militia come down and actually take Sichuan again it's not worth anything so it doesn't really change much but uh, it allowed me to go after Yunnan because it was adjacent um, the Shantung obviously is going to stay the same. And the other minor thing is that the boats that were up here in 26 have now located up to sea zone 7, uh, hoping to not die too quickly. 
All right, so uh, that's everything all tied off. Thanks for watching, folks. And uh, we'll hand the reins officially now over to the Imperial Japanese War Machine. Here they come.